we're going to start with just a call time of prayer. And I have asked Sister Goldie Tillman to come and to lead us in this time of prayer. You may want to kneel or sit right there where you're at. The altars, of course, are open. But this is a time, a called time, where we're going to spend the first minutes of our gathering on Sunday morning in a time of praying for harvest. Amen? Amen. So, Sister Goldie Tillman, who is, of course, one of our praise team members, she's also a benevolence board member, but she's also an intercessor here at uh, Eastway. And I want Sister Goldie to come at this time and to take the next 10 minutes or so and just lead us in a prayer for the harvest. Amen. Praise God. Praise the Lord. Good morning, Eastway family. Make a joyful noise unto the Lord, all ye lands. Serve the Lord with gladness. Come before his presence with singing. Know ye that the Lord, he is God. It is he that made us and not we ourselves. We are his people and the sheep are his pasture. Enter into his gates with thanksgiving and into his course with praise. Be thankful unto him and bless his name, for the Lord is good. His mercy endured to all generations. Praise ye the Lord. God is so awesome and he is so good. Just before I pray, I just want to share with you all some things. The goodness of God, which you already know. God is so good. I just love the way he say in this song that we are his people and the sheep are his pasture. Have you ever visioned lives like myself as the church being the pastor and we enter into these doors with praise and thanksgiving and we come to be fed. We come to be fed the word of God. And you know the word is our food our spiritual food. God is so good. He said in his word that he would never leave us nor forsake us. He's all there, always there with us, Lord. We just thank you, Father God. God is so good because we can stand on his word. He wants us to have his word in our heart that we will not sin against him. Give God's word back to him. He said it would not go void. It would accomplish that in which he sent it to do. And we can call on him. And we can say, God, you said I'm more than a conqueror through my Lord Jesus Christ. God, you said I can speak to this mountain and this mountain shall be moved. Use his word. That's what he wants us to do. God is so good. Hallelujah. And you know, our children are getting ready to go back to school. I want each and every family to learn to just pray over your child before they leave home. Pray over them. You can even anoint their book bag. You can even anoint their shoes that every step that they take will be blessed of the Lord. They don't have to know that you're doing that, but you will know. And he said that we are blessed going out and blessed coming in. Just give him the glory. God is just so good. And we're looking and we're expecting for a revival, and God is going to do just that. We praise God for the revival that's coming to Charlotte, North Carolina. We believe in the Spirit and the Holy Ghost of the Lord going to sweep the country. It's going to sweep the land. And we want it to sweep the streets of Charlotte, North Carolina. Our young people need the Lord. Pray for them every day. Pray for the young people that God will turn things around for them. And I praise God for listening that they are planning to put the Ten Commandments back in school. 
and that's a good thing. Most of our children don't even know how to do unto others as they wish to be done by. We just gonna praise God, gonna turn that around. He's able to do it in the name of Jesus. Our Father, which are in heaven, hallowed be thy name. Thy kingdom come, God let your will be done on earth as it is in heaven. Give us this day, Lord, our daily bread, and forgive us our debts as we forgive our debtors, and lead us not, Father God, into temptation. Lead us, Lord God, from all evil, for thy is the kingdom and the power and the glory forever. Father God, we thank you this morning, Father God, for this day, Lord God, and all that you're gonna do in this day. This is a day that the Lord has made. We will rejoice and be glad in it. Father, we just thank you, Lord God, for your grace and your mercy, Lord God. Oh, Father, we praise you for all that you're gonna do in our service this morning, Lord God. Bless everyone that entered these doors, Lord God. Father, let them feel your touch, Lord God. Let them feel your love. God, you know every need, and God, you know every heart desire. God, we thank you, Father God, for your will being done in the name of Jesus. Praise your holy name. God, we want to lift you up. We want to magnify your name, Lord God, the name above all names, the God of the universe, our heavenly Father that sits high and looks low. And God, you know all things and you see all things. And Lord God, you have all power in your hands. And Lord God, we know there's nothing too hard for you, Lord God. You said, God, we are your people and the sheep are your pastor, Lord God. And God, we know you're going to take care of your people, Lord God. Oh God, we need you, Lord God, to heal our bodies if we need healing. Oh God, we need deliverance. If we feeling down and low, God, you can lift us up, Lord God. We give you the praise. All the glory, God, belong to you. God, we take credit for nothing. Oh, God, we thank you for blessing us all week long. And, Lord God, we thank you, Lord God, that you brought us here again this morning in your house. And, God, we're going to give you the glory for all that you're doing and all that you're going to do. God, we ask you to touch our pastor today, Lord God. Use him, God, for your glory. God, you're able, Lord God. Father, you know everything that you, your people need to hear this morning, Lord God. God, we need your word. We need deliverance. We need, God, more of your salvation, Lord God. Help us, Lord God. Help us, Lord God, to open our hearts and our minds today, Lord God and receive of you lord oh we thank you father god and we praise you father and we just magnify your name oh you are so worthy lord god we thank you father god we thank you for life health and strength we thank you lord god we thank you god for every breath that we take lord god oh god we thank you lord god Every good and every perfect gift comes from the Father above. As I'm thinking, Lord God, you can take the breath of air from us and we will suffocate, Lord God. And if we didn't have your water, Lord God, we would die of thirst. We thank you, Lord God. You know everything that we need, God, and even before we ask. Oh, God, you said ask not because we have not. Oh, we ask him, Lord God, to let your will be done. Oh, God, all the glory, God, belong to you. Thank you for your grace and your mercy. We thank you for supplying all our needs, God, according to your riches and glory. We thank you for going before us and making every crooked place straight, Lord God, in the name of Jesus. We thank you for our families and our loved ones, Lord God. We pray for their salvation this morning, Lord God. Oh, God, everyone that needs deliverance, Lord God, you're able to do it. And God, we give you the praise. 
All the glory, God, belong to you. Thank you, Father God. Thank you, Lord. Praise your holy name. Praise your holy name. Praise your holy name. Let all God's people say hallelujah. Let all God's people say praise the Lord. Let all God's people say let your will be done. In the name of Jesus. Hallelujah. Amen and amen. Hallelujah. he's able to save to deliver amen he hadn't stopped saving amen and so we can't stop praying for the lost amen hallelujah how many in here know someone who doesn't know Jesus at least one person Amen. Are you praying for them? Amen. Well, for these next five weeks at least, we're going to be praying for them. Amen. You let us know who they are so we can call them out by name. Amen. Lift them up before the throne of God. Hallelujah. Jesus, we thank you, Lord. Hallelujah. Glory, glory, glory. Thank you, Jesus. How many came in with thanksgiving? How many entered in? Amen. Hallelujah. How many came in with praise? Amen. Hallelujah. Glory to his name. Oh, 
make this place an altar. Sing, my soul will sing, my soul.
Hallelujah. Hallelujah. It's all for his glory. All for his glory. We got to put ourselves aside. It's all about you, Jesus. It's all about you, Jesus. Hallelujah. 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 Oh, God, you're worthy, Lord. All about you, Jesus. All about you, Jesus. Well, I guess you can be seated. It's all about him. It's all about him. When we begin to think about ourselves, let's remember it's all about him. No matter what we go through, it's all about him for his glory. I'm here to welcome the guests. Do we have any first time visitors this morning? We have right here, we have two right here. Amen, amen, amen. Well, we welcome you ladies. And don't just come today, come back, come back. And we are going to go right into our responsive reading. God is good. He's more than good. Even in our tough times, he is still good. He is still good. So our responsive reading, let's stand, please. I'm sorry. I know we up, down, we up, down. <laughs> so Ephesians 3, verse 4 to 21. As you read what I have written, you will understand my insight into this plan regarding Christ. And this is God's plan. Both Gentiles and Jews who believe the good news share equally in the riches inherited by God's children. Both are part of the same body and both enjoy the promise of blessings because they belong to Christ Jesus. Though I am the least deserving of all God's people, he graciously gave me the privilege of telling the Gentiles about the endless treasures, the endless treasures, aren't the endless treasures, available in Christ Jesus. Okay, hold up, hold up, hold up. Some of y'all saying one thing, some of y'all lagging behind. Let's try this again. There you go. I had to say, tell y'all to start over. Because in the, God is not an author of confusion. He is of unity. So I had to let the devil know, mm -mm, we ain't gonna, mm -mm, we gonna start that and do it over. Because it's all about him. Mm -hmm. God's purpose in all this was to use the church to display his wisdom in its rich variety to all the unseen rulers and authorities in the heavenly places. Because of Christ and our faith in him, we can now come boldly, <laughs> we can come boldly and confidently into God's presence. We don't have to come sheepishly, acting like we don't know. We come to a father who loves us who has all power and authority, as Sister Goldie said, all power and authority. In him, there is no lack. There is no lack in him. Pa Paul's prayer for spiritual growth. When I think of all this, I fall to my knees and pray to the Father. Amen. 
I pray that from his glorious unlimited resources, you hear that? Glorious unlimited resources. He will empower you with the inner strength through the spirit. And may you have the power to understand, as all God's people should, how wide, how long, how high, and how deep is his love. Now all glory to God who is able through his mighty power at work within us to accomplish infinitely more than we ask or think. Glory to him in the church and in Christ Jesus through all generations forever and ever. So we don't have to worry because now unto him who is able to do exceedingly, I'm, gonna do one, I'm doing another version, exceedingly and abundantly above all that we can ask or imagine. He's able to do it all. Even when we think he cannot, even when the enemies of our soul, like I said in Sunday school, he presents us with hardcore evidence to make us think he will not, he cannot, and he shall not. But how many of you know the devil is a liar? The Bible says when he speaks, he speaks his native language, and that is lying, y'all. He don't just lie, he lie red. So, as the scripture said, we can come boldly before the throne and receive grace in our time of need. Don't just pray, pray and believe and walk in what you have prayed about. He will answer, he will come through in his time and in his way. In his time and in his way. Now we are gonna go before God in prayer this morning. Most heavenly Father, we come before you this morning in Jesus' name. And God, we just worship you and we praise you, oh God, for you alone are worthy. And we thank you, Lord, that we don't have to make an appointment with you. We don't have to send you an email or a text. God, but we can come to you with anything and with everything, oh God, knowing that you hear our prayers. And you may not answer the way we want but you will answer in a way that you know what's best and in your time. So Father, we give your name all the honor, praise, and the glory. And we trust you, Lord God, in all that you do. Because you do not do things haphazardly. Everything that you do, you do with a purpose and a plan. And we thank you. Have your way in this service. Let your good and perfect will be done. It's not about us, God, it's about you. Let your will be done in this place this morning. And it's in Jesus' name we pray, amen. And let's prepare our hearts and our minds as we prepare to give. As we prepare to give, let's come with the right heart. Because when our Father comes before us, when he gives to us, he gives. And he gives in love. Let's give in love this morning. Let's give in love. Whatever God has laid on your heart to give, let's give. Because he is worthy of so much more than what we could ever give him. He is worthy. He is worthy. So ushers, come on forward. I just remind you there is four ways to give. You can give in the plate as the ushers and the gentlemen are passing the plate around. You can give by texting the word GIVE to 844-626-1671. And you can give online at eastwaychurchofgod.org. Or you can give by sending it through the mail. Whatever way works for you, just give, because he is worthy. Father, we thank you for this opportunity to give. 
God, you've been so good to us. You are good to us and you will forever be good to us because that is who you are. You're a good father and you do not change. If you are the same yesterday, today, and forevermore, you do not change. And I thank you for your faithfulness. I thank you that you are the sure foundation, Jesus, that we stand on. And your words is that those who hope and trust in you will never be ashamed, will never be dismayed. So God, I ask you bless this offering. Some 10, 20, 30, and 100 fold, God, according to your riches and glory in Christ Jesus. And we thank you. In Jesus' name we pray, amen. Hallelujah. Stand to your feet if you believe he's able. Able to do exceeding abundantly above all we could ask or think. Hallelujah. If you believe that this morning, worship with us as we declare it for ourselves. As we increase our faith, amen. Exceedingly, abundantly, above all, you could ask or think according to the Declare, he's a 
Everybody say, don't give up on God, cause he won't give up on you. Come on, tell somebody, say, don't give up. Somebody might need to hear it, tell them, say, don't give up on God. I know it's hard right now. I know you're facing a lot, but don't give up. Hallelujah. Come on, tell them again, don't give up. He won't give up on you Cause he's able Hallelujah Come on if you believe it Hallelujah Hallelujah You know we gotta have faith We gotta have faith to win souls too Hallelujah We gotta have faith to win souls Hallelujah. The Great Commission requires our faith. Hallelujah. So we have to know without a shadow of doubt that he's able to do it. Hallelujah. Glory, glory, glory. Hallelujah. Say, oh. you to do 
Oh, he wants you to operate in unbelief. Don't give up on God. Hallelujah. Hallelujah. He doesn't care if you come to church. Oh, he doesn't care. Oh, he wants to aggravate and agitate so that you walk in unbelief. Oh, but you need your faith to believe that anything is possible. Hallelujah. So don't give up on God. Because he won't give up on you. Everybody say, don't give up on God. Because he won't give up on you. Come on, say it again. Don't, don't give up on God. Because he won't give up on you. Because he's able. Come on and praise him. Come on and glorify him, church. Hallelujah. As an act of your faith, praise him right now for what he's going to do. Glory, glory, glory. Hallelujah. Thank you, Jesus. Thank you, Lord. We believe you. We believe you, Lord. You're more than able. Hallelujah. Restore our faith, God. Hallelujah, Jesus. Strengthen our faith in Jesus' name. Hallelujah.
know he's able Hallelujah Oh yes he is Oh Hallelujah I confess He's able to do of whatever that is in your mind that you believed was impossible and I want you to confess that he's able to do it amen hallelujah say he's able to do it he's able to do it come on say it again he's able to do it he's able to do able say amen amen he's more than able he's more than able come on let's immediately pray together heavenly father we thank you we honor our hearts before you right now in your presence we confess that our faith is in you Lord Jesus 
you who are able to do all things. There is nothing, no nothing impossible for you, Lord Jesus. And we honor you today. And we thank you for your precious, precious presence here in this room this morning. Touch every heart, every man, woman, boy, and girl. Touch our hearts today. Quicken us here in your presence to receive your word this morning because it is all about you, Jesus. And it's in your name that we pray. And all God's people say amen. 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 Look at your neighbor and say, he sure does look good on you. <laughs> the Lord looks good on you. The joy of the Lord is on your faces this morning. Amen. Amen. He is all sufficient. Our ladies yesterday gathered and they unpacked together what it means when the saying goes, it's in the bag. And what they, uh, they discussed was that we have everything we need because of Jesus. He is the all-sufficient one. I want you to remember to check your bulletins for all upcoming events that are headed our way. You want to be a part of these times, these special times of fellowship that we will have together. And uh, the presence of the Lord will minister to us and through us as we gather together in his name. I mentioned last Sunday morning concerning the revival crusade that's coming up September the 20th, Friday, September, September the 20th that there are three things that as a church connected with this effort, this spiritual effort, there are three things that we can do. We can intercede, we can invest, and we can invite. And this morning as we began our service, our gathering time together, we, we started with intercession, and we'll follow through with that each Sunday leading up to that Friday evening. And I just encourage each and every one of us to continue to intercede for our lost loved ones, for our lost neighbors, for our lost co-workers, for those we come in contact with on a daily basis that need Jesus so desperately. Amen, somebody. Amen. We're believing for harvest. We are believing for harvest. We're, we're stepping into unity. Churches around Charlotte stepping into unity for one cause, and that is the gospel of the Lord Jesus Christ and the winning of lost souls. And I want to be a part of that. How about you? Amen. Amen. I also mentioned last uh, Sunday that today I would be preaching and ministering on biblical repentance and I must tell you that that is still uh, evolving in my spirit. And so I'm going to be going a different route. In fact, I know that I know with all my heart that God is leading this way this morning with the word we're getting ready to, to share together. But I, in, in studying and in, in preparing the message on biblical repentance, I realize, as each of us do, that there is personal repentance. Everybody say that, personal repentance. Jesus taught his disciples to pray, and Sister Goldie led us in that prayer. Part of that prayer Jesus gives to his disciples, gives to us, is that we are to forgive trespasses as, as we have been forgiven our trespasses. And that, of course, comes on the heels of what we call personal repentance. Then there is the preaching of repentance. John the Baptist preached repentance. Jesus came and preached repentance. You remember the apostle Peter preached repentance, and 3,000 were saved there on the day of Pentecost. But here's what I've learned. When we preach repentance, we've got to come from the right place in our hearts. Come on, somebody. Well, what do you mean, Pastor? Well, we've got to come from the right place in our hearts in that God so 
love the world. Come on, somebody. And we've got to preach repentance from a place of love and concern. Now, I like you, I have, I have heard preaching uh, on repentance, but I know that that preacher, that pastor, was preaching repentance in the way trying to keep us out of hell. Come on, somebody. But I, like you, have also heard preaching at times where it feels like the preacher wanted us to go to hell. Is that not the truth? Come on, we got to come from the right place when we preach repentance. And, and just pray for the pastor that God, as he's continuing to evolve this message, will help me to deliver what he wants us to hear concerning biblical repentance and what that means. But this morning, we're going to be turning to one single verse of Scripture found in 2 Corinthians chapter 2 and verse 14. And I, I, I have to chuckle, chuckle, but at the same time, it's just like God. This Scripture has been welling up in my spirit all week, and I'm... I'm in a group text with pastors here in Charlotte, and this morning, one of the pastors who always sends us a scripture every Sunday morning, guess what scripture he sent to us today? 2 Corinthians 2 and 14. Ain't God good? Amen. And I want to speak for the next few moments on uh, triumphant in Christ. Yeah. Hey. 